Introducing our newest serverless offering, DigitalOcean Functions. Here we have a pre-existing App Platform application. It's easy to add a DigitalOcean function by clicking Create and creating the resource from source code. Like other App Platform resources, all we have to do is select our provider and our code from our repository. You can fork sample repos from DigitalOcean's GitHub repository to get started quickly. A list of those can be found at do.co slash functions. We're going to choose a predefined DigitalOcean function. From GitHub, you're also allowed to choose the branch as well as your source directory and whether or not it auto-deploys. Here we can see the functions we're about to deploy, as well as the option to edit our plan. For now, we're going to click through. Here you can see a list of your environmental variables and edit either your global variables or the environment of variables specific to your function. While this function does not require them, any environment variables required by the function will be automatically populated for you to fill in those values. Finally, review the functions you're about to deploy, your environment variables, as well as any impact to your billing. Then you can create resource. Our resources have been successfully created and are in the middle of building and deploying. It looks our deployment went live. From the overview, we can go find our function. Here's where our function lives in our overview list. Once we click into that function, we can see it listed here. Click into that and we can test the code and see the result. That is the result of that code. From the same window, we can create a managed database by clicking Create and clicking Create or Attach Database. Here we can select between either a previously created DigitalOcean database or a dev database and create it new. So we're going to create a new one by clicking Create and Attach. The database has been added to our App Platform application and is now in the middle of building and deploying. Now that our database is live, we can click into it. From there, we can see the database type and scale, the connection details below, as well as trusted sources. If we were to click edit trusted sources, we can see that the app is already added as a trusted source, right here. This means that the database can only be accessed by the application itself. Remember to add your database credentials as environment variables once you're ready to connect with your function. From the Functions tab, you can create a new DigitalOcean function outside of App Platform. To do so, click Editor. And then you can click New Function. Select a runtime, a package name, and a function name. We are going to go with Demo and Hello. If you do not provide a package name, it will deploy without a package. The function has been successfully created, and now all we have to do to test it is click Run. From there, we can see it run below through the output as well as the logs. You can even make edits live in this console window. All you have to do is make your changes, click Save, 
And then when that's complete, click Run. You will see the changes below. Again, both in output as well as logs. Once you're ready to automate, you can use the DigitalOcean CLI tool. First, connect your namespace to your terminal. From here, you can list and invoke any of the functions you'd like to test. Learn more about DigitalOcean functions at do.co slash functions.